Welcome. My name is Tony Voitlis. I'm a power transmission specialist for CBC Bearings and Power Transmission. This training module we're going to cover chain elongation and also show you how to set the CBC with a, the corporation of EWIS, the chain wear gauge ruler. But first let's have a look at how a roller chain is constructed. We have a series of roller links and a series of pin links and a pin link contains two rivet pins which is inserted into a series of rollers and then a top plate is actually riveted down onto the pin links and these roller links has rollers which spin around and rotate on a inner bush and this inner bush and roller wears out and this is known as link joint wear so this chain set up here which I've set up earlier you see as we rotate you can see the chain and sprockets as the chain enters the sprocket and exit the sprocket these pins are actually wearing out the pink joint wear so it's important to have the correct chain tension and it's important to have the correct chain lubrication here we have a uh, jig set up with the um, easy to read wear gauge ruler which identifies and measures excessive chain wear. This wear ruler can be used on all industrial roller chain and leaf chains. This wear gauge ruler has already considered and includes a 3% elongation measurement for each all branded industrial roller and leaf chains. On the opposite side of this wear ruler we have a ruler which you can measure your chain pitch and then we have the identification of the chain series and the corresponding chain pitch. So what I'm going to show you is actually how to measure chain pitch and how to select the appropriate starting and finishing points. So measuring chain pitch can be easily done by measuring the centre pin of one pin to the next centre pin of the next pin. And this could be easily achieved through using the ruler of the chain wear ruler or any ruler. If you like, you can also use a pair of verniers. And these pair of verniers here measures 5.8 pitch. So this chain here is a 5.8 pitch chain so I select the appropriate starting point. And here we have P1 chain pitch for half inch, three quarter, one inch, inch and a half and two inch. P2 we have chain pitch three uh, inch and three quarters. And P3 is 5.8 inch and a quarter and two and a half inch. So this chain being a, a 5 8 pitch chain, we've selected the P3 as a starting point and we've we place it on the centre pin. It makes no difference which pin you pick, it just goes on to a pin of the chain. And then we have a look at the adjacent finishing point. And we started with P3, so we finish with P3. We look at P3 and it's on a link which is good and this chain this pin here once this pin here lengthens elongates and stretches and equals to the center of the p3 then it has identified the chain has worn out and it has reached the three percent of chain elongation and it's recommended to replace the chain to prevent any further damage to your sprockets and drive setup. And next I'll show you how to apply this CBC chain wear gauge onto another series of chain. Here I'll show you how to apply the uh, CBC chain wear ruler on another series of chain. If you have all these two chains side by side, 
we have a brand new chain and we have a, a fairly worn out chain. So we know it's worn out but then has it exceeded the maximum 3% of elongation. We can only determine this by applying the chain wear ruler against the worn out chain. If you have a look where I've put a beginning marker of this worn out chain to the new chain and have a look to the end of the same corresponding pictures against the old chain to the new chain you can see that the old chain pin is much longer than the new chain and that's what we call pin joint wear the chain lengthens through the pin and bushes wearing and elongates so let's apply this wear ruler against the old chain and let's have a look if we need to replace the chain it's always best to measure chain when it's tight preloaded so in this case we'll use a pair of verniers you can use a ruler a pair of verniers to measure the, the chain pitch and a pair of verniers is half inch pitch chain we can also use the reverse side of the chain ruler where it has a, a ruler in inches and millimetres as well. So the chain being half inch pitch, we locate the appropriate starting mark, which is P1, half inch pitch chain, P1. And we apply the P1 on the centre of the pin. So it's centre of the pin. And we locate the adjacent finishing marker and we have the P1 here. So you can see even though this chain has stretched and elongated, it's still okay. This pin here has still got at least an eight mil to elongate. So when this pin here elongates and stretches and equals to the P1 mark, the chain is worn out, it's elongated more than 3% and it's recommended to replace the chain before further damage is done on your sprockets. This concludes uh, the CBC uh, chain wear elongation demonstration and how to apply the CBC chain wear gauge against any industrial roller chain and leaf chain. If you'd like some further product demonstrations please visit our website www.condair.com. Thank you for viewing.